Hi, everybody. Uh, today we're going to explain the Mandela effect. Mm. Uh, f first, uh, human beings, they age and die. Uh, because they store memory. I mean, human beings, they, they like to have memory, to remember what they were when they were children and they built this persona the story of them gathering all this information photos memories uh, time they look the time they count their years you know so they are into time so they will gather information and and they die because because they can, you cannot store infinite information. There is limitation. So the universe uh, is not stupid. It's not doing like the humans. It's not, it's not storing information forever, building like like a persona or something. The universe is is the universe is refining itself. Is building his own being so he will uh, there is a limited quantity of information so he will not store a limited quantity and get old age and die the universe is not stupid he's not like a human being the humans like to to store everything you know but the universe no he's not he doesn't care about storing everything he's he's making himself more and more refined you know so the information uh, is destroyed at certain moment the past if you look far far the information about it is gone disappeared he, he loses memory loses information so there is the present and there is some somewhere in the past, a wave, a wave following this present, and arising, arising the memory, destroying information. This is why the universe is eternal. He can, he can continue forever. So he does, he cannot store infinite information. You know, gather all the information. He he has to get rid of it. So there is. There is a destroying of memory, destroying of information, losing of memory. So, um, so what's happening? What is this Mandela effect? We can imagine that this wave, which was which was far far from the present, is getting closer to the present. This wave of erasing the memory is getting closer to this present. Till the human can see, can see stuff's changing. But why this wave is getting closer to the present? Why? Because there is more information generated, generated by, by all the beings in the universe, especially the humans. They started writing books like Bibles and stuff, and trying to have everything written, what happened, the history, and then recording, and then digital recording, huge quantity of movies, documentaries, books, and now the internet. The internet is a huge uh, information, storing of information. So the quantity of 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 information that you can store is limited is limited so what happened since there is more memory this wave is getting closer the wave of erasing memory is getting closer closer to the present as to the present it's like it's narrowing itself it's following us more and more close to us because there is too too much information generating then it needs to be destroyed it need it will be automatically destroyed. It, it loses, loses memory. Universe loses memory. So this quantity of information generated by 
by the humans maybe by other beings you know this internet technology like this youtube infinite storage cap capability i i doubt it's it's human technology behind it maybe there is a hub to other other beings managing our uh, our technology this is where you can put hours and hours of of information on youtube of videos hd videos doing lives and everything and storing and storing you know because there is uh, so someone storing it but this is also saturates the universe of information so the wave of erasing the the memory seems is, is more and more closer to us till it touched a james bond movie and you see that this dolly has no has nothing in her mouth anymore yeah and then uh, james bond movies and then it comes to the 90s and then uh, closer and closer and you see stuff we didn't remi remember them like they were because this stuff are uh, in the past they don't exist anymore this uh, this this past is is gone it's erased so you will see more and more crazy stuffs because uh, it's narrowing itself this uh, erasing of memory it seems uh, closer and closer so this is uh, I think uh, one of the, the stuff happening there is no unlimited quantity of information you can store in any system and now it is clear that there is a lot of information and it uh, it has to be lost and this is why the Mandela effect is happening I think I think so one advice if you want to to live really and not age and die like stupid human but but live live like like the universe stop stop gathering all this memory stop building a persona with a lot of lot of stuffs and memory and everything but but create a being create a being who get refined into what you are into your capabilities of being of incar of being incarnated all your powers spiritual in the matter in the body in the density of the matter this is your this is, should be your your direction your goal you know so you will stop aging and and dying Yeah, so this uh, this past now we can uh, really change it just uh, the way uh, we see it from the present. We will see different stuffs, and uh, yeah, it will change more and more and more and more closer to our life. Till our life will be completely fluid, <laughs> because it will be destroying information more and more. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is my uh, my view of the. Um, of the Mandela effect yeah it's a uh, reong uh, all the line of time is constantly reorganizing itself even our future there is one line of future and then you decide to go somewhere else and everything is is calculated differently and you take another line and also the past changes exactly like that, this and we can see it more and more because it's closer and closer to us because too much information and no matter what it will be it will be refreshed because the universe doesn't age it is thank you for listening